We've made it to the next stop on our 2022 summer vacation. We're at Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, right on Lake Superior. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. We're on our 2022 summer vacation with our family and we are touring around Lake Superior. This is stop number four on our trip, which is Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. The last time I was here was 2001. I'm very excited to finally be back and to show my family and explore all around this park. We're here for a couple of days, so stay tuned as we cook and hike and see Lake Superior and swim and all that stuff and come along with us, check it out. After setting up, we had hamburgers and fries for dinner. What an awesome way to end the evening. And then the next day, it was on to exploring. So our first stop to explore is Lake of the Clouds in Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park. Last time I was here, it was about 2001. I was 21 years old. I stood here, somebody took my photo. I have this photo somewhere at home. It is so good to be back. It's a little bit of a climb up. It's really buggy today, as you can see, but we're having an amazing time. Let me spin the camera around and show you the Lake of the Clouds. So here we are, there's the river. And then as I pan over, we'll show you the lake. Part of the trail down there is a bridge that crosses the river. Look at that. That's absolute ama absolutely amazing. And then here's the viewing area. So lots of rocks to climb on, which is pretty cool. There's Barb and Tiller and Delaney. And there's Garrett and Ellie. What an awesome place. Yep, Porcupine Mountains are just beautiful. Look at that. This place would be spectacular in the fall. There's another amazing view of Lake of the Clouds. I could stay here all day. Except for the bugs. On our way to our next spot, we found this spotted salamander crossing the road. It was totally cool. I hadn't seen one in years. So we helped him cross the road and be on his way. Check out this spotted salamander we saw crossing the road. How awesome. We're in the Presque Isle scenic area. We're gonna hit the trails and check out the waterfalls. Yeah. What an incredible series of waterfalls. Check out this whirlpool action going on right over here. So cool. 
you got to come to the Presque Isle area if you're at Porcupine Mountain State Park. So guys, not too far down from the suspension bridge, you get to the shore of Lake Superior. I'm going to spin the camera around. What an amazing view on this little beach. Check it out. I could spend all summer here. Honestly, I probably should. Look at that. That is gorgeous. What a cool place to explore. I know I keep saying that, but I just don't get tired of looking at this. This is Manabezo Falls. Amazing. Well guys, what started off really rainy and overcast and cloudy and foggy has turned into an absolutely beautiful day. We saw some waterfalls, but it's time to go back to camp and make dinner. I hope to come back over to Presque Isle either tomorrow or the day after. I want to finish up and see the final two waterfalls. So we've got some falls to see still. We're going to continue on exploring in the park, but I think tonight it's time to just relax by the campfire, have some dinner, and just chill out with the family. Stay tuned. We found this painted turtle close to the road. We're going to make sure he crosses safely and get him out. What a cool guy, huh? Look at that color. It's beautiful. Sitting by the fire before dinner, we had pudgy pies and s'mores for dessert. We're having a great time here at Porcupine Mountain Wilderness State Park. The dogs are growling at dogs walking by. It's pretty funny. These little half-hearted growls as they sit in their camp chairs. I'll spin the camera around so you can check it out. There's Ellie and Tiller. Paying attention to what's going on around them. And here's what's left of our fire. Sun goes down really late here in the summertime, so it is almost 10 o'clock. The sun has just set, and in eight hours, it'll be sunrise.
So we're going to do a lot more exploring tomorrow. I'm going to make my full camp breakfast with bacon, eggs, hash browns. And then we're going to spend some time chasing waterfalls, doing some hiking, checking out the park, and maybe, just maybe, swimming in Lake Superior. Stay tuned for tomorrow. You can take the girl out of Minnesota, but you can't take the Minnesota out of the girl. She'll go swimming no matter what the weather. But the dogs were smarter than she is. Air temp is mid 50s, water temp is probably 50 degrees. There she is. And Ellie decided to join Barb in the water. Oh, that had to be freezing. <laughs> nope, not me. Ellie's got the zoomies. Why did she do that? <laughs> I don't know. There's an awesome roadside beach as you enter Porcupine Mountains from the east. So we're going to hit it up. Barb is swimming. The dogs are running. Having a great time. Barb on a rock. Go play, y'all. Well, after that fun jaunt at the beach at Lake Superior, we're back on the Presque Isle side of Porcupine Mountain Wilderness State Park, checking out more waterfalls like we did yesterday. We're at Manito Falls. Guys, check this out.
and this is Nawadaha Falls. Check out the awesome fungus. That's crazy. There's a fungus among us. It's a good thing I'm such a fun guy. Those are all my fungus jokes. So we decided to hit the Summit Peak Trail and we were rewarded with this view. Guys, this thing is phenomenal. It's beautiful up here. We still have a little bit of hiking to go because we're gonna get to an observation tower that's even higher. But this observation deck, wow, fantastic. Lake Superior in the background. I can see some islands out there. I'm not sure what those islands are. I'm gonna have to look them up. They might be the Apostle Islands, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check out a map when I have cell phone signal. But guys, this place is incredible. Check out the view. When I got to this overlook, I thought the view was spectacular, but I didn't realize what I had in store for me. And by the way, those islands that I did see in the distance, those were the Apostle Islands. I kept on the trail. The mosquitoes were terrible, but I kept on the trail and I got to this observation tower. And once I got up here, man, was I rewarded with a fantastic view. This trail is quite a climb, so be prepared if you decide to take it. We are at the top of the tower. Man, that's a hike. It's a half mile from the parking lot, but it's up the whole way. But this is the view. Incredible, I'm probably breathing hard in the mic. Sorry about that, guys. But this view is unreal. Look at that. Wow. Again, really buggy, so bring bug spray or you'll get eaten alive. Incredible. So guys, camping isn't always fun. We had a crazy rainstorm today, just tons of rain. We had a river running underneath the kid's tent. We're waiting to see how much flooding there was inside the tent, I don't know. It was so much water, guys, even a good tent, I don't know if it would stay dry or not. So we're gonna find out. Barb and I are in a cargo camper right now, cooking some dinner, we're just making some SpaghettiOs and we're heating up some grilled chicken that we had last night and the campsite is an absolute muddy mess. I'll take you on a little tour here in a few minutes. I also broke my tripod, which means I'm holding the camera. So sorry if it's gonna be a little jittery. I did order one. I'm meeting up with my brother and sister-in-law in Minnesota. So I sent one to their house. So hopefully they'll be bringing it to me when we go camping together at the next site. But until I get it, it means yours truly holding the camera when I film. So, sorry about the jitterness, but you know, hey, we're still having a good time. It's just, you gotta be prepared for bad weather, but we had really bad weather. This is our last day at Porcupine Mountain Wilderness State Park. So we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna try and dry out. We're gonna try and clean up. And then we're gonna hit the road tomorrow and hit Tedaguch or Tedaguchi State Park in Minnesota. I'm not sure how to say it, I'm going to find out when I get there, but stay tuned. Part of making do when it rains is having some of the right equipment. And having an electric burner, even though I do most of my cooking on propane or white gas, is really handy. So tonight we're making it easy on ourselves by cooking SpaghettiOs. So I pulled out my little electric burner I got off Amazon. Just makes it a whole lot easier than having to stand outside in a muddy mess trying to cook outside. Just using the electric burner for the kitchen inside, making some SpaghettiOs. Another thing I want to mention is this ice maker I got. It's a Frigidaire, and I'm really happy with it. I've been able to make a lot of ice as I'm camping. I basically just dump out the little tray and throw it into my cooler. And so I've only had to buy ice twice this trip, and they were on long travel days where it was really hot. So I'm really pleased with this ice maker. It allows me to continue to feed my cooler some ice. That way I can keep stuff cold without having to buy ice every four days. So we had an epic rainstorm and you should see the runoff from this river going into Lake Superior. Check it out.
That is a lot of water. It's turning the lake brown all the way out, almost as far as we can see. Here's the other side of the bridge. That is a lot of water. Okay guys, so here's our campsite after the rain. You're gonna see it's a muddy mess. I'm gonna turn the camera around and give you a little tour. So as you can see here, there is a river flowing under the kids' tent. It's surprisingly dry in there. The floor's a little wet. We're gonna air things out. Uh, but overall, I was really impressed with how well it did. And then as you can see, it's just so muddy. So I'm gonna walk up here by the cargo camper. And the water's just coming out of this, out of the woods and just right down our campsite. So you can see just the camp kitchen. It's just a muddy mess. Flowed under the screen house. All of our chairs got soaked. We should have done a better job of pushing them in towards the center. Just trying to dry stuff out. We're just ate dinner. We're gonna clean up here in a minute. Of course, everything in the Kodiak is dry. And there's Barb working our way up, but just a muddy mess. Well guys, Mudpocalypse is officially over. We've packed up and left. We're on our way to Tetaguchi State Park in Minnesota on the North Shore Lake Superior. And as you can see, guys, it's not always a real fun time camping, but we always have a great time nonetheless. We just have to make do and make it what it is and just roll with it. So we're going to dry out at Tetaguchi State Park and have a great time. We're meeting some family there. My wife's family is going to come and camp with us, so we're excited about that. So stay tuned for the next episode on our 2022 Camp Outside Summer Trip. Guys, we exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So if you have any questions about Porcupine Mountain Wilderness State Park, drop something in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. You can hit us up on other social media at Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, or our website at campoutside.com. Also, be sure to check out our Campsites by Camp Outside YouTube channel, where we will bring you a bunch of campsite review videos from the Union bay campground at porcupine mountain wilderness state park so be sure to check that out as well guys until next time thanks for watching we'll see you later there's an awesome beach right by the roadside as you enter where the hell am i